All right. Good morning, everyone. This is Ben here, and now I'm now I have a VHS, DVD, and Blu-ray update for March uh, 9th, two thousand nineteen. Which this one's going to be a little bit interesting because I normally don't get Blu-rays from the Salvation Army because they usually don't have any, but they had one, so I decided. I decided, what the heck? I'll just pick it up. So. So that's good. Anyways. Now I know now I know I originally said like during the last my last update I was gonna do like a comparison video of one of my movies or some sort. Well, I kind of got busy like with school and all that, so I decided not to do it. So you know, but I I fig I I uh well it's hard to explain. But anyways, let's just get to the VHS tapes in which I only got six six. VHS tapes, six DVDs, and one Blu-ray. So let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna start with Zoolander with Ben Stiller. I also have this on DVD. So it's good to have the VHS. This is the special edition. Here's the label. The next one is unopened, and it's the fan with Robert De Niro and Wesley Snipes. This one is unopened, but I will unbox this um, after this video. Next we have The Crow with Brandon Lee. This was Brandon Lee's last film he did because he passed away during the making of this film. On set. Like, I guess the medics weren't really there enough to cure him, so he just died instantly, but that's okay. There's the label. That's the, looks like it has to get me wound. Here's a classic, Old Yeller. The original Disney classic, of course. Part of the Walt Disney Studio Film Collection series. I think it's the the only one I have. I'm not too sure, but here's the label. So it's good to have this. Next we have Hocus Pocus, another Disney film from the 90s. Yep, this is the label. And finally... We have The Grass Harp. This has an all-star cast, but I'm not going to bother reading it. This is a demo VHS, and it also has a different style label than what New Line usually puts on their tapes. It's not an Avon copy. It's a demo VHS, promotional use only. And that's it for the videotapes. Now we're going to go on to the six DVDs. So we're going to start with The Great Debaters with Denzel Washington and Forrest Whitaker. And Denzel also directed this movie. So it's pretty good now that I have this. You know, Antoine Fisher, then this, and Fences were the films that he directed. So that's pretty cool. Here's the disc. Next up, we have I Am Number 4. From the director of Disturbia and producer Michael Bay. Even though Michael Bay, you know, he did not direct this movie. Still alright. And this was the first film that DreamWorks um, distributed their films through Disney, through Touchstone. Which the deal lasted from 2011, beginning with this film, up until The Light Between the Oceans in 2016. When Universal take, took over to distributing the DreamWorks movies. Which is what they do now. But it's good. Next, we have the DVD of Bring It On. I also have this on VHS, so I don't need to explain it any further. Here's the disc. It's a red disc. And here's the, the guide for it. And all this information. I'm not going to bother reading that for you. Next, we have Anger Management with Adam Sandler and Jack Nicholson. This is the full screen edition. Feel the love. <laughs> yep. Here's the disc. There's a cat on the disc wearing some guy's clothes, which is pretty funny. Next up, we have Old School with Luke Wilson, Will Ferrell, and Vince Vaughn. This is the standard R-rated version. This is, there also was an unrated version of this. Which is a little bit different on the unrated version. It has the unrated, uncut thing down there. Also, the side of this is red. The unrated version is blue. 
And you also, they, the girls' bras are on. On the unrated version, they're not. Like, they're completely naked. So, don't really mean to give any offense for anybody, uh, for, the, for what I said. But I just want to explain the differences between this and the unrated version. The original version is cool. I also did saw the original PG-13 rated version of Anchorman at the Salvation Army, but I didn't get that because I had enough movies already. Anyways, going on. Next is a TV show, and it's Glee Season 1, Volume 1. Haven't really watched the show. I don't really know much about it because I don't really usually watch TV shows that much. Still, alright. Here's the episode list. Here's disc one, disc two, disc three, and disc four. And, uh, there we go. That's it for the DVDs. Now we're going to go on to the Blu ray, which is The Box Trolls. This is the 2015 Blu ray release, I think. Yep, it's good to have this. Although it says Blu-ray, DVD, and digital, well, the bad news is that the DVD doesn't come with the DVD when I bought it. But the reason why I got this is because, you know, it's the only Blu-ray they have and also has the disc inside. Plus, it's it's cool to watch this in high definition, so that's good. And also, I've seen this movie before um, in 8th grade, eighth grade once, and I liked it. I thought it was kind of cool, interesting, and stuff. But anyways, that's it for my VHS, DVD, and Blu-ray update for March 9th, 2019, and I'll see you again later, but we'll see.